the criminality that was committed was done before cameras. Some of you witnessed what happened. Even the pre-ticket ballot papers, you all captured them on your screen, on your cameras. And there was no shame at all on the part of the regime to orchestrate this bloody day saga. It won't happen. And that's what we are confirming today, that the elections in and of themselves will not shift power from those who captured it with the guns to the people of Uganda. It will not shift it. The way to get back our power is to unite all of us and the population to be running together. And once that happens, and I am very excited that I can see it now beginning to happen. I can see it happen. Even if it was tomorrow, if we say tomorrow, let all of us do this, this regime has absolutely no capacity to stop it. Not that it has no capacity. So, we cannot pretend not to see that Museveni organizes elections but in real sense organizes a fight, a fight where he is over-equipped and we are zero-equipped. You saw the general elections of uh, 2021, you saw Kayunga, you saw Omoro, now you've seen Soroti and many other places.
the presence of the president and leader of PPP, uh, Honorable Saddam Gaida, you're most welcome. We are also humbled by the presence of the chairman of the Forum for Democratic Change, uh, Honorable Waswa, you all know him, you're most welcome. We are equally humbled by the presence of the Lord Mayor and the Vice President of the Forum for Democratic Change, you're most welcome. We are humbled by the presence of the Secretary General of uh, the National Unity Platform, the spokesperson of the Forum for Democratic Change, the head of mobilization, NUP. Uh, we have another eminent leader, a member uh, of us in the struggle for a very long time, an astute fellow, uh, the Honorable Mukaku, you're most welcome. We have the Honorable Nzu, uh, the deputy, Nzo, sorry, the deputy president of uh, uh, Western Uganda uh, Forum for Democracy Change, you're most welcome. I want now to invite our speaker of, uh, I want to invite uh, Honorable Asman Basarilwa to take us through uh, a prayer. You're a bit holy. I know from Kira College that you are holy, and I know that uh, Allah, with your holiness of Kira College, will best to upon us in these deliberations. I thank you. Uh, thank you very much. In honor of the Almighty, let's stand up. The Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the opportunity to converge here. We are once again gathered here for the good of our country. We know we have individual interests. We know we have individual aspirations. But we also recognize that this country is bigger than all of us and also recognize that Uganda is here forever. Give us wisdom and guidance as we deliberate and go through today's session for the good of our country. Amen. Well, I know, because I would have been lost. I thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me um, uh, straight away in the interest of time invite uh, the person going to take us through the rest of the session this afternoon, and that is uh, the very able, honorable Semujo Ibrahim Nanda. You're most welcome. The party president, our leaders in the different formations, the media, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for honoring our invitation. My colleague from NOPA has given the background. We will have a joint statement that is going to be read to you, to the country, through you. And then we will have the leaders of political parties and different formations making comments. We will not follow any order. We will just invite them um, uh, maybe the way they are seated. So I now want to invite on our behalf the Secretary General of National Unity Platform who will read the statement. When he has completed reading of that statement, the leaders will sign that statement, and after that, the leaders of the different political parties and formations will make a few comments, and then will allow um, maybe a few questions of clarification, and then our meeting will adjourn. Um, the president of the FDC, as you are aware, left prison yesterday, but he has asked uh, one of the deputies, the road mayor, who will be the one signing on his behalf, on behalf of the FDC, he will also be the one making a brief comment on behalf of 
the FDC. Um, I now want to invite, uh, we'll start with the reading of the statement by the Secretary General of No, and thereafter we will be inviting our leaders to uh, make comments on that statement. So, Secretary General, you're welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Um, all right, this is a joint statement of political leaders, political parties, formations, against the present thuggery of elections in Uganda, as exemplified in the by-elections of Kayunga, Omoro, and Soroti. 1st August 2022. Fellow countrymen and women, the people of Uganda have for many years been irritated by the present rigging of elections by the Museveni regime. The past five general elections have been far from free and fair. At every election cycle, Museveni and his small clique of henchmen have continuously usurped the will of the people of Uganda, aided by the military, the Electoral Commission, and all manner of state apparatus. The judiciary, which should ordinarily dispense justice in election matters, has not done so because it is equally under capture. Be that as it may, the various political parties and formations have continuously participated in these elections because of our firm belief that democracy and the rule of law are the most ideal means through which we can have a peaceful transition and change of leaders at the lower levels. Unfortunately, the quality of elections has now gone from bad to worse, each election being worse than the previous one. Mr. Simon Miyawakama's Electoral Commission has proved itself to be the worst in the history of our country. The rigging and open day thuggery, as exhibited in the by elections of Kayunga, Omoro, and Soroti, is now done with so much boldness and ridiculousness. This demonstrates the crisis at hand. Among others, the three, general, the three by elections have been characterized by the following. One, Kayunga. The Electoral Commission in Kayunga supplied predict ballot papers to regime operatives. They arrested over 100 of Honorable Harriet Nakwede's polling agents and supervisors the night before and on election day, in the hope of carrying out ballot staffing and detail. Robin and Abanja went on a bribing spree, some of which you members of the media captured. Despite all the ballot staffing and violence, Honorable Harriet Nakwede emerged winner with a difference of over 15,000 votes. Shamelessly, the Electoral Commission announced the NRM candidate winner without any results. Contrary to the law, the Electoral Commission refused to hand over a copy of the tally sheet relied on to, to, to declare results at the tally center because there was none. They gave themselves several days to doctor both the tally sheet and their forms. Recently, the regime has ensured that the electoral election petition in Kayunga is dismissed on the most ridiculous grounds. The will of the people of Kayunga was usurped. In Omoro, ladies and gentlemen, the regime took advantage of the poverty-stricken population and engaged in open bribery with items like soap and maize flour. Some people were bribed with as low as 2,000 shillings. Early morning on voting day, regime operatives working with crime intelligence moved from polling station to polling station, arrest, arresting Honorable Tolit Simons, polling agents and supervisors. By the end of the day, over 60 polling agents and supervisors out of 84 polling stations had been arrested. With the majority of the polling stations not manned by the polling agents assigned, the regime had a field day staffing. A man called Moses Kalangwa and other thugs took over the election. Yet again, the Electoral Commission had supplied British ballot papers to regime operatives who transported them in vehicles without number plates. Whatever, whoever questioned the open day thuggery 
was quickly arrested and detained, including members of parliament and other leaders. Hundreds of people were ferried from neighboring districts to participate in the voting. Despite a very low turn up in Omoro, the Electoral Commission gifted Mr. Andrew Olanya with over 14,000 votes, and the Electoral Commission refused to avail copies of the tally sheet and the other forms relied on to declare results within the time, within the time frame within which one could lodge an election petition. The third instance is Soroti. As you all saw, in Soroti, police and the military spent the night prior to the election raiding homes of Honorable Moses Satan's polling agents and supervisors. FDC leaders, including the party president, were arrested and detained in Dokolo and other districts. The Electoral Commission yet again supplied regime of paradigms with critique ballot papers in favor of the NRM candidate, many of whom were caught red-handed by the ordinary people and were restrained by the police. Vehicles without number plates uh, were deployed to transport critique ballot papers in Soroti. Every leader who dared question or deter the ongoing ballot staffing was quickly arrested and detained. Some polling stations were closed before time and all voting materials confiscated by regime officials. At other polling stations, the residue of ballot papers after voting were collected and ticked in favor of NRM Zariko and thrown into ballot boxes. No tally sheet uh, before the sham counting could start. At the tally center, several false results were read and no tally sheet was provided to back the results. The Electoral Commission yet again conspired with the regime to rob the people of Soroti of their victory. These are just a few of the numerous violations. Now, therefore, we, the undersigned leaders, the leaders who are here, on behalf of our respective political parties and formations, recalling the sacrifices of our people over the years, including the thousands of Ugandans who died in the war that General Seven led, claiming to fight against election rigging, do hereby make it clear that we shall not watch on as General Seven aided by Yabakama, Nabanja, Todong, Tango Doi, and their ill to continue to hijack the will of the people with impunity. The what can they do attitude must stop. Elections must be free and fair, short of which they are not fit to be called elections. Going forward, we shall jointly, or severally, use any upcoming elections to organize and rally the population to defend their democratic rights and end the election madness that has bedeviled our country since independence. The current mega social economic crisis is directly related to the population having no say on how their country and her resources are managed. It is therefore urgent for the country to focus on how to get out of the current crisis and to procure a transition to an inclusive and democratic dispensation. I thank you very much. Thank you, um, the Secretary General of no. <clears throat> We will now have the leaders signing the joint statement.
Allah mina shaitanur rajim bismillahir rahmanur rahim assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh nze haji kabogoza omusomi weddua ntereza ensonga za maka ebyenfuna ne ndwadde zitategerekeka haji kabogoza omusomi weddua nsingani wa ekitigoma ku rejinja bobango tuse ekitigoma mu town ku stage osobolo kuba ku namba ze simu ezo zola bazitambula Gwowe na aliye wala oyinzo kuita ku mukutu gwa fogwa WhatsApp ku line yeyo eya MTN obudde bonna mbeerako bobango otuse ekitigoma ku stage osobola okulaba aba boda boda ne bakuleta waka oba nokubira ku namba ze simu ezo the three of them will come here and on behalf of the party the Lord Mayor will make a, okay, the FDC deputy president will make very brief comments and then will be inviting a, the rest of the party leaders so can we have the FDC Yeah. 
Mr. President, Mr. Bijon, the Honorable Zhu, and myself, Deputy President, were informed. Our party president was arrested and detained in Tokoro. I uh, was not able to make it to this meeting today. But our position is very clear on elections in this country. They are fraudulent. They, they are a mockery of democracy. What we have just witnessed in Soroti is despicable. On the eve of the elections, over 100 leaders and agents who had been deployed to man the electoral process were arrested, detained in various detention centers. Some were detained as far as Dokoro, including the party president, and the others were taken to Kenya. Quite a number of honorable members of parliament, including the honorable Bonzo here, he was also arrested, and a couple of others. No offense. Had, uh, had been committed by these leaders, and indeed there are no charges that were preferred against them. On the voting day, it was mayhem. It was a nothing else. And uh, what happened? They raided various polling stations. In some polling stations, there was a uh, open bribery at polling stations and also members who I mean agents were picked they could not witness what had happened and you can imagine they were returned to the polling centers after the conclusion of the exercise only to sign declaration of results forms and as you have heard from the statement that has been read before you at some polling station, the residue materials were pre-ticked, I mean, were ticked in favor of Arico and stuffed in the ballot boxes. And lots of dirty, dirty things happened. Of course, in total violation of the electoral laws, the criminality that was committed was done before cameras, some of you witnessed what happened. Even the pre-ticket ballot papers, you all captured them on your screen, on your cameras. And there was no shame at all on the part of the regime to orchestrate this bloody day. And we roundly rejected, reject the results of that election. It does not reflect the will of the people of Sorot East does not in any way meet the standards, the standards set in the Constitution. And as we say earlier on, it's nothing else but a mockery of democracy. Going forward, we insist that the provisions of Article 3 give us a clear position, I mean, way forward on what we should be doing. Article 3 provides that whoever derogates from the provisions of the Constitution, whether they are in state power or not, they commit treason. So we state in no uncertain terms that what happened in Soroti is treasonable. All those agents of the regime, starting with the Seven himself, because was the mastermind behind this, coming to Nabanja, the Prime Minister, and the, many others, the Tango Doyes, uh, the, the Mukuras, and whoever, they committed treason. And once you commit treason, it's incumbent upon Ugandans to rise to the occasion. Because there is a command that we have already cited in the provisions of the Constitution. That command under Article 3 that the duty rests with Ugandans to stand up and deal with that kind of buffoonery. So it's up to now the people of Uganda. And as FDC, we make a commitment.
commitment to work hand in hand with our brothers and sisters in all the party formations that have committed themselves in this instrument to do whatever within, one, within our means under the provisions of Article 3 of the Constitution to, to, to defend the will of the people. It's important. Because the cornerstone of democracy, the cornerstone of constitutionalism, is upholding the will of the people. So electoral exercises which do not reflect the will of the people are a farce, are a mockery of democracy. So this was a sham exercise, and the trail of that has been happening, as you are told. It happened in Omoro, happened in Kayunga, and we have not been in any way helped by the institutions that are supposed to defend this space justice. I'll specifically talk about, as I conclude, what happened in the case of Napwede. It is horrible. And it was well orchestrated. The case which was filed, the papers were duly submitted before court the pleadings, and the registrar took his time to sign on the notice of presentation of the petition. And the law requires that the notice of presentation of petition shall be served together with the petition. Now the registrar took his time, I think, after filing the petition. He did not sign the notice of presentation of the petition. He waited until after four days. And when you count the days, the seven days provided for in the law, the service was done within time. Because he indicated the day when he signed, when he appended his signature on the notice of presentation of the petition. But the judge dismissed it on technicalities that service was done out of time. You can see how the judicial has also been drafted into this network, this racket of Thugger, and a couple of other cases we can cite. So we can't stand this, we can't watch with our arms folded. We are saying, going forward, in the ongoing election cycles, it's not going to be business as usual. And we want Ugandans to embrace this message. We are committed here to working together as a team, as a formidable team, because we stand on the right side of the Constitution. We are the Constitution, rather, the Constitution of this Republic of Uganda is on our side. And we invite Ugandans to firmly stand with us, and all of us who are before you here. We want to speak with one voice, we want to sing in unison that enough is enough and we must deal with this buffoonery, with this thuggery, with this madness, with this nonsense as a united front. So we are really committed as the FDC in all aspects to deal with this madness. The Constitution should reign supreme and we invite all stakeholders Please, let's join us in this struggle. The very final thing is, we invite the respective supporters of this formation, the members of the FTC, the members of NO, the members of JEMA, PPP, and all other stakeholders. Let's bury our differences and let's do this country from the precipice. We let's do this country from the cliff. We are sitting on a time bomb as a nation. Unless we come together and deal with this madness, the junta will always go away with their attacker. Those remarks would like to reiterate our commitment to dealing with this nonsense as a united front. May God bless you. I thank you. In less than a minute, Bangambi of Fondura. Sijabu Dabuinji, Naye, a chili war, Mugwanga, the Wachari, Uroda, Katmami or seven, 
akola byayagala era ensonyi zonna bazi nabye kati yabade bakola mu kukutu nga bastaffing omulu ekiro bageza ko kuisa wano ne wali ne babuza abuza kati babikola misana kuwaka mungeri ya china njo chanchi mize ayagala cho yagala kola chikole kati bacha abika ko na kamu ida boba boba te yakachali mwaka kunguna mu 7 yala kinde dala kati okulonda asala ugwa yagala ichaba de soroti ba kute ba agents ne ba leaders no party president of fdc ne ba mtwala ne ba kusibira edokoro paka ruda kuwa jyo aba kulembeze ne ba agents abasuka mu chikumi polling station zirinkaga musatu abo ba kute ba bade basukuru zimani nga bulunye naye kwa bade balaba nti ajja kulwanyisa obubbi ngaba kwata kwasi kabasi bati wali na misango je baba kudeko baina polling station zezimu ngo tatai a, a minute we bought to sing about materials. See, we run the wood. Now we go to the barrel paper. We ask them, "Do you want to come and do you want to come and take a walk? Do you want to come and take a walk? Do you want to come and take a walk? Do you want to come and take a walk? Do you want to come and take a walk? Do you want to come and take a walk? Do you want to come and take a walk? Do you want to come and take a walk? Do you want to come and take a walk? Do you want to come and take a walk? Do you want to come and take a walk? Do you want to come and take a walk? Do you want to come Usema teka ila ganti baba wazizo msangu kwa na gomera Uba ita treason So maati kwa firi Kwa umenya sema teka na ukule fuji Rifana kwa umenye Obo zizo msangu kwa na gomera Ila sema teka mnyinge yoksa Achiteka kwa na Uganda wona Ntiwe mula bangu mtu alwanyi Siza sema teka Ngarese we fuji Ungari bakora Mbibazi bakora mkulo ndako Mwino mwanganga Gama teka kwa ikaragina So nore nso unge fe ngabe FDC tuliwa tulibete FTF era tukwa lokaka se kwanga nti tukwataganye ne banaffe abebibina ebidala byonna ogenda maso kulwana gana ne ne okulwana gana ne mwamyo 7 obutalo obutachusa wili yaba ilicho kweyama nti sema tekachi tukakatako era nga tusaba nti when nobody, about to work here, but member of HB Nature for Jeff DC, but member of HB Nature Noob, HR Jema, HR BPP, now that I'm with now, I'm not Uganda, no matter which Vina, to the Kokurumangana, to Angangi, Nature Marida, Gatulichi Tore, Gatuke Namukaluka no, or Rubu no Dako, they to Angangi, Gatulichi Tore. So you are aware of the three letters. Thank you very much. Um, that was the FDC. <clears throat> I now I said I will follow the order from my right. I want to invite our elder, who is also leading a, the Red Card Movement, as you all know. Retired Dr. Kiza SJ to give his brief comments. The request of the media is that when you finish uh, the English version, you make um, you summarize in, in Uganda. That is the request from the media. May I now invite Dr. SJ and members of. Uh,
so I am not leading to the elections. And um, therefore my position is slightly different from theirs. But what we are dealing with here today is a very, very fundamental element of how this country will proceed. And I just want to make three points on that in that regard. First is that we are making this statement when our country, Uganda, is in the middle of one of the worst social economic crises that our country has faced. Every person almost, save for those whom we are united to work against, and they are a handful of people, every other citizen is in crisis of survival. In fact, we characterized the crisis in the country as a crisis of failure to thrive. Failure to thrive. An FTT crisis. That's the crisis in which our country is uh, found today. Now this crisis is a result, a direct result. It's an economic crisis, it's a social crisis, but the cause of the crisis is political. And the political cause to the crisis is what we are dealing with today. The fact that the people who live in this country, the greatest majority of the people who live in this country have no say in their country. That is where the social economic crisis comes from. That we are in a country where we have no say. We are taxed. We don't have a say as to our, what will happen to our money. Our wealth which we had collected and was being managed collectively as our wealth was all taken away by this handful of people. As we watched the national wealth in terms of public assets that Uganda had in 1986, public assets, all public assets were privatized to these individuals who are holding the country captive. And whatever else we produce, they use as they want. We have no say. That's where this crisis comes from. Having a country of people without a say on how their country is managed or how their wealth is managed. That's why people have been crying in this current budget that as people are starving, they have appropriated nearly two billion shillings to be spent in one family of Mr. and Mrs. Museven. They can spend all the money they want as the rest staff. And Museven will shamelessly come and say, there is nothing to do, just tighten your belts. For him, he's not entitled to have a belt. He doesn't need any belt. See you to tighten your belts. So that is the cause of the crisis. Having no voice, living in a country without voice, having people without power. So the struggle that the country must undertake is to regain power. To regain influence. 
influence in the country. That's the struggle to shift power from those who captured it to those who don't have it. It's a power shift. Now, so the last point I want to make is how does that power shift from those who captured it to those who are now victims of powerlessness? How does the power shift? We did shift by those who captured us organizing elections and and that we come and vote and they they say okay now you have power you can now take over the country it won't happen and that's what we are confirming today that the elections in and of themselves will not shift power from those who captured it with the guns to the people of Uganda it will not shift it oh what now I hear our brother who has just uh, uh, defected from us if he was with us <laughs> the now minister Nobat Mao that he has gone to lead a process for dialogue to have reforms in the country that that is why he has gone to organize dialogue so that there are reforms in the country how will those reforms return the power? Even if you organize the dialogue and the reforms are actually done, let's sup suppose he has been successful. He has organized the dialogue, the reforms have been done. How will the reforms return the power? Because you heard from Morodi that all the things that were, were done in all these by elections, Kayunga, Omoro, Soroti, were all illegal. They were all unconstitutional. You know? It's not that there is a bad constitution or there are bad laws. No. It's that there is impunity. Those with the power override whatever law is there. They do what they want. So if you change the law, who will make sure that that law actually is respected? How? How will the laws be respected? How can the constitution be respected? So dialogue, while power remains controlled by those who captured it by force, we will not shift that power to those who don't have it. You can change the laws, you can change the, 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 the constitution even, you can change all, but who will respect them? And whenever they want to change the constitution anyway, at any stage, they can change it again, as they have been doing. So, the way to get back our power to unite all of us and the population to be rallied together and once that happens and I am very excited that I can see it now beginning to happen I can see it happen even if it was tomorrow if we say tomorrow let all of us do this this regime has absolutely no capacity to stop it so the people must reclaim their power by action. They must take the actions that gave them back their power. And this statement we are signing today, I am very glad is saying that. <laughs> that we shall not go to the event that our people have been arrested, oh, now what can we do? <laughs> now they have stopped the ballot papers, no. <laughs> that we are now all going to organize, first of all, give the message to the people.
that it is us to ensure our own freedom. And once they get the message, we organize them to now move to take actions that will ensure their rights are respected. Not, not asking to serve our government into Yambi. We are going to ask. Government is our servant, must become our servant. We cannot be, it cannot be our master that we are begging it, asking it, no. So, I am very, very excited this afternoon that uh, uh, we are witnessing all patriots. These are the patriots, people who care for the country. Not thieves calling themselves patriots. Like the other day you saw Mr. Museven in uniform, and he put on that uniform to send a message to frighten people in the uniform on the eve of elections, saying, I am going to kill anybody who disturbs peace. And later he said, you know, I am the patriot. He's a patriot of starving Ugandans. How can you call yourself a patriot who has been in charge of a country 37 years and the people are being buried for lack of food? How can you be a patriot? So, thank you patriots for this today. And, uh, <laughs> Bobato ina wii 
buyinza ovote mu mbere ya butabera na buyinza no bufuna oye yabuku amba ko asobora kutegekera akaluru akakuwo buyinza mu muvego bugende joli nga yabuamba buwambi ti babadde batulaga mu kulonda bona kwetu isemu babadde batulaga nti Obuyinzo inzo busalira we kwanga lino fetu buina fetu sarawani ana salira we kwanga simwe te wadde batulaga abantu ne bakuba akaluru nuka kuma ne bakakuma ne bivudde munne birabika ne bagamba ti ale balangirire bila kati gwe kola cho yagala bodukira mu koti ekivayo ti cho murodi cha yogeddeko ti ne koti nazo ziri mu wabwe ati babi wamba tulaba Kuti ya majega ajirumba misana tuku. Kuti jetutukira mu. Black mamba za ajirumba. Niziji sanya. Onga tulaba misana. Parliament jetuwa za tuina parliament. Amajega ajirumba. Negaji wamba. Anga tulaba misana. Hakumuwa cha aliku migu. Hava kubiwa mu parliament. Hiva menyekei migu. So, bakula ganti, teutemu ina wiyinza, fetu masani na wu. Ketiba beba zewa tulaga mkaluru kona wetu genda mubu cheba geza kwa kutulaga. Bebala wanga, wanga baga na nukwe, no, insonga nwa chiba teke kakaluru. Baga na kwe na geri wa webu. Ntina boba ise mumbera ya kakaluru. So, ketiba soboro kusara wu, ako, ako mkabale kira hako. Na kari, hako mkawa we. Baso mwere kwa mati, ya haa, tute kiko uratinga mwe mwuri mparameti. Na mwe mwudaba mwe mwuri. Ati kwa tupa wangula mwe mwukayana, mwe mwangula, te mwukayana. Na inga te mwawa, sisi wisi mbewa kiri za ti hako kabakatuwari, na kari kabakatuwari. So, fetura woza, ira, mga chetwe kumu, chetwe. Ani deko luari ilo Ndi akaruru Etuja kukiriza kata Kagende mumaso kwe kati Ngabali imbansi ya fe Ngabali imbani ya bewe Etuja kusiga langa Tuko langa miye wetu vade tukona Batu bie batu bie Baba kute baba kute muna Etuja kukenda mkaruru kula jana Mwitu watu genze mkaru watu genda kuhuli na abatu wabali Abali ya ya bagale nchuka chuka Bili kule mwongu ni mwongu laba Kyo wiyinza wawe Baburu wani Nazitia ya nebi moto ka Nga du msasewe kwa angali yo na Netu sana honti ya haa Netu cha wa netu cha kutambula na chino Tuti imilisa chidja kuhimilisa Noruwecho Nuhuze nete keka yeta ambule Tulabe Kwanga wopa kalu toba bantu Abantu wa sigara huu. Abantu wa mwara wa soro tibari wona. Be mwara wa tibari. Yeta ina ayo. Suwe toka amati soro tibari imirile ya kolachi. Hija kuhimirila. Kuwanga wa jine kange tambu la taba ina. Atena hawa waba na ngaba be. Nuwa kwa bacha mwara wa mga ya ina. Ensa huo. Umusoburo kufensa kwa hiyo jiba jamu hako ukulia na hiwe bara banga na necho tacha atisobora na niteri ya jako kumume ilako so tuliba sanyo funti yoruwa lero banda Uganda fena bando oza sona tujeye dobozi ntitutambulile wamu tusoke Kula venti wa na Uganda Uguinza wa hawe wa Bubadikte Katipo ba no Uguinza Mwe wa soboro kusara wo Aba agaro kuwa gira Ankorachi yo wa Ankorachi Uwe soboro kufuna Akaluru wa kama Zimbabwa Ntunga ba mazo kufuna Uguinza So Mbeba za mwena Aba tambuziza Endo oze no Atendo oza tuwebo tuwebo ze Kuhuli yao Na keo ngira yo Muganda wangi Robert Chaburanyi Kuhanga Yeya Gami kutuwa fude 
soroti na dama divana katichi tiriti. Tu yekule muzi, tu yekule mo. Of course, fe nda wenyi baga bi, ebi ebi bi na tuari tuari te katapari. Fe tu wado rede tu kora si, rede tu wado tu tambura. Kujia kwa tu baba dewa tu wara ni muna ngono yeka. Mwuri yao katiba cha kutu wa rafe na chitu chila vike mwuri. Kale mwema le nye mwema le letara katula baby nata. Simanyo wane heye musina ya mpunula mwilu gandu. Thank you very much third Dr. Kizia Wesige. I now have the pleasure to invite the president of National Inter Platform to make his comments. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sebo. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Comrade Dr. BCJ and other leaders that have addressed us today. No, Dr. BCJ, I know you have a teacher in college wada kama mtu kire mo lini mero mo mambo bichiwa sekat na diogo kire mo luganda iliyo rusu mo lini bichiwa sa but for the importance of conveying this message I'll also use both languages most has been said I cannot overemphasize the words of our brother the Lord Mayor Elias Mukwago. I certainly cannot overemphasize the words of Dr. BCJ. That's exactly the truth and more. Where we are, ladies and gentlemen, we all see, we cannot pretend not to see. We cannot pretend not to see that Museveni organizes elections, but in real sense organizes a fight. A fight where he is over-equipped and we are zero-equipped. You saw the general elections of uh, 2021, you saw Kayunga, you saw Omoro, now you've seen Soroti and many other places. Many times when we just go into elections, get out of that crazy election only to go into another without anything gives the wrongest message to our people. In many ways we tend to legitimize those elections. When we, hear, when we leave uh, Kayunga just into another election, even when the Kayunga election has been a bogus one, we tend to fit into Museveni's narrative. However, we've always agreed that we go into these elections, you know, as running uh, platforms. However, when things come in certain ways, we have to think in certain ways as well, ladies and gentlemen. 